Hello everyone, I am Vijay Gadbe and welcome to my YouTube channel. In previous video, we have completed the data pre-processing steps. Now in this video, we will train our machine learning model with the linear regression algorithm. So let us go to the Azure Machine Learning Studio and do the same. Go to component, then go to machine learning algorithms. Here we have total 19 machine learning algorithms. 6 are the regression algorithms. 1 is clustering algorithm. And 12 are the classification algorithms. Our business problem is regression problem. So first we will select this machine learning algorithm. Linear regression. Drag it to the canvas. Let us understand more about this machine learning algorithm. Click on learn more. Linear regression component. Use this component to create a linear regression model for use in a pipeline. A linear regression attempts to establish a linear relationship between one or more independent variables and numeric output. And use this component to define a linear regression method and then train a model using label dataset. Here you will get all the information about this component. Linear regression component. Now scroll down. This component supports two methods to measure error and fit the regression line. These are the two methods. Gradient descent and ordinary least squares. So this is about the machine learning algorithm. Let us specify the input. First, we have to specify the solution method. This is an optimization method. I'll open the documentation again. Scroll down. So the solution method, online gradient descent and ordinary list squares. You can see the same here. Gradient descent and ordinary list squares. Here we will select the first option, online gradient descent, the solution method. Then we have to specify the trainer mode. We will go with the default option, single parameter. Let us understand. Here we have to create advanced learner options. Then we have to specify the learning rate. Here we have to specify the initial learning rate for the stochastic gradient descent optimizer. Here we will go with the default option. 0.1 then we have to specify the number of training epochs here we have to specify how many times the algorithm should iterate through examples here also we will select the default option 10 then the l2 regularization method here we have to specify the weight for the l2 regularization 0.001 keep it default then the normalize features Indicate whether instance should be normalized. Yes, keep it true. Decrease the learning rate. It indicates whether the learning rate should decrease as iterations progress. True. Then the random number seed. I'll specify 0. Specify a value to seed the random number generator used by the model. We will go with the 0. Then keep all other things as default. Specify the comment. Online gradient descent. This is the optimization method. Great. So we have selected the machine learning algorithm and we specified all the details under that. We are using online gradient descent. This is the solution method. And then we specified all the options here under the linear regression component. Now we have to drag one more component to the canvas. Go to model training and drag this component to the canvas train model
this component takes two inputs first one is the untrained model so specify the untrained model here the linear regression and second one is the data set so here we have to specify training data set the first output let us understand more about this component trains a classification or regression model in a supervised manner here first we have to specify the label column this is our dependent variable select a single column by the column name and our dependent variable is price save then the model explanations whether to generate the explanations for the trained model true keep all other things as default now we have to drag two more components to the canvas go to component then go to model scoring and evaluation first component is score model and second component is evaluate model let us understand about these two components first one is the score model it scores the predictions for a trained classification or regression model you can get more information from here from the azure documentation use this component to generate predictions using a trained classification or regression model append score columns to output true keep all other things as default this component takes two inputs first one is the trained model and second one is the data set here we have to specify the test data set the second output from the split data component then the evaluate model let us understand about this component with the help of this component we can evaluate the results of a classification or regression model with standard matrices here we don't have to specify anything keep all other things as default this component takes one input score data set but here you can see the two inputs if we are using two machine learning algorithms together then you have to specify the second input here so we have successfully completed our pipeline let us give a name to our pipeline pipeline 2 linear regression and in parentheses online gradient descent this is the solution method that we are using save so we have changed the pipeline name now we have to run this pipeline before running the pipeline let us revise the steps so this is our data set automobile price data here we remove this column normalize losses after that we are dealing with the missing data then we are splitting the data set into train and test set 70% in the training set and 30% in test set so these are the three steps for the data pre processing after that we are selecting this machine learning algorithm linear regression and here we are selecting online gradient descent method this is the optimization method then we are training the machine learning model to train the machine learning model we are using this machine learning algorithm linear regression with this method online gradient descent and the training set and after that we are making the predictions here using this component score model and at the end we are evaluating the machine learning model so this is our machine learning pipeline let us run this pipeline to do that click on configure and submit we will select the existing experiment automobile regression this is the existing experiment 
This is the same experiment that we have used earlier in the summarized data component. Then the job display name, pipeline 2, linear regression, online gradient descent. Let us specify the job description, linear regression with online gradient descent method. I'll copy this. We are not going to specify any tags. Input outputs. We don't have to do anything. Run settings. Select compute type. Compute cluster. Select Azure Machine Learning Compute Cluster. Compute Cluster 01. From here you can create Azure Machine Learning Compute Cluster as well. If you have deleted the same. Default data store, workspace blob store, okay. Review and submit. Success, pipeline job has been submitted. So this is the draft pipeline. I'll open another machine learning studio here. So this is the drafted pipeline. Let us see the pipeline run. Submit pipeline run succeeded. Okay. To get the pipeline run, click on pipelines and this is the pipeline run. So the pipeline is running here. This is the pipeline run and this is the drafted pipeline. Now it will take around 5 to 10 minutes to complete the pipeline run. So I'll fast forward the process. So this pipeline run is completed successfully. Go to pipelines. This is the pipeline run. The experiment under which we are running the pipeline. Status completed. This is the description and this is the duration. To complete this pipeline run, it has taken 12 minutes and 3 seconds. In the next tutorial, we will evaluate this pipeline run. Till then, happy learning.